Hi, my name is Jennifer Reap, and I'm a land surveyor licensed with the state of New York. I'm the president of Baiting Watson Surveying and Engineering, DPC. A property marker or boundary marker is a physical mark identifying a corner, angle point, or line of a land boundary. Land surveyors often refer to this as a stakeout of the property. Surveyors today set various types of semi-permanent markers when staking a property boundary. Common markers include iron pipes, iron pins, concrete monuments, and crosscuts. Iron pipes are often about an inch in diameter and between 12 inches and 36 inches long. Iron pins or rebars are usually a half inch to three quarter inch in diameter and 12 inches long or greater. A typical concrete monument will be about four inches by four inches on the top and three to four feet long. A cross cut or X cut is a chiseled X used when a rock or permanent concrete features are encountered when staking a property. Typically, when a surveyor stakes a property, the marks are flush with the ground or only a couple of inches above the ground and may not be easily visible. Because they are difficult to find, wood, lath, or stake flags are often set in the ground near the property marker. These are set to assist the property owner in locating the property marker, but usually are not used as the property marker itself. So what is the difference between a survey and a stakeout? The difference between a survey and a stakeout, when people decide to buy a property, they usually get a land survey done. And how we show it is with a map, and it will show your property line and all the features on the property or and along the lines and show you where they are in relationship to your property. The stakeout itself is where you put the pins or pipes or cross cuts on the corners or angles or sometimes on the lines, but they're the physical markers that show where the boundary is. Okay, so if I have a survey, I have a stakeout. No, not necessarily. Sometimes you'll ask for a survey and you will just get a, a map or you'll usually get a map as your product um, but if you haven't asked for the stakeout, you will not necessarily have stakes on the property. However, you might have stakes on the property if it was done before and they found them in the field. In New York State, under Section 7209, Special Provisions of Public Law, there is a law against removing property markers. We always recommend solving any issues amicably. There may be many reasons as to why and how your marker got removed. It's important to try and solve the issue between you and your neighbor. First, we recommend that you take a real good look for that property marker. If it's been there for a long time, it could easily be buried. Someone may have removed the lath or flag indicator and not the actual property marker itself. Then we recommend to talk it out. He or she, may have removed the markers while setting up for a party, their children may have pulled it out, and they might have even removed it while gardening because they were not aware it was a property marker. But sometimes there are disputes over property lines, and if this is the reason as to why your property marker was removed, here's what we recommend. See if your neighbor has a recent or current survey and pull out your recent or current survey. If you or your neighbor can't agree on the property lines, then it is time to bring in a professional land surveyor. If you need a stakeout done and you already have a survey map, you may want to contact the surveyor listed on the map. If you don't have a survey, we recommend you call a local surveyor that is familiar with your area.